Well, I haven't heard any that have been passed around. Um, I remember first meeting Lloyd in the, the fall of 1969, and uh, I had uh, just made a, uh, a movie for Canon called Guess What We Learn in School Today. And I came into the editing room one day, and Lloyd was uh, busy cranking these 2,000-foot uh, reels. And um, uh, we hit it off, and he became very helpful in the, uh, in the edit editing room. He was very well-spoken, very well-educated, loved the movies, and it um, was just at that time that the people at uh, uh, Canon came in and said, um, you got to make something for us right away because we raised some money on a script and we realized it makes no sense to make it and we don't want to give the money back. So uh, have you got anything that you can? I said, well, remember that Norman Wexler treatment I, I showed you a few months ago uh, about the, the hard hat and, the, uh, and the, the hippies and so forth? I said, that, that, could, make a, that could make a good movie. And they said, mm, okay. And uh, within about uh, four weeks, uh, Norman had uh, written the, uh, the script, which eventually got uh, uh, an Academy nomination. And we uh, started shooting the movie the beginning of January, and it opened in July, and it was uh, my first hit. And uh, Lloyd was the uh, production manager and made a huge contribution to, uh, to that uh, that picture. So meeting Lloyd uh, was one of the p more positive things that's happened in my uh, career. And he did the, the same kind of thing uh, when uh, we went to shoot uh, Rocky in uh, Philadelphia and we had to use a non-union crew because they didn't have the money for a union crew and he made it all happen there. So, uh, and uh, then we did uh, Cry Uncle together and a number of of pictures together and he was always enthusiastic and had great ideas and um, and always great fun to work with.